is YouTube. I want to make a video here about this uh, mini split system I installed. This is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial how-to thing because I've already installed it. But I didn't want to make a video installing it because every install is going to be different. And so I just want to give an overview and just show you what I did and hopefully help you try to figure out your system. So this is the inside unit. This is probably the easiest thing to install. There's just a bracket you hang on the wall, level it, you measure distance from your hole, and then you just hang this on there. Of course, you gotta fish the, the lines through the wall at the same time. So it does help if you have somebody to help you, which I didn't, but I still managed. And you just basically let it hang there, and it, uh, it's pretty simple. And this is the remote. You can see here if I go up to 79, 80, and then it sh it'll shut off because it doesn't you know, it doesn't need 80 degrees. So I'll put it back to 78. And then you kind of ramps up and ramps down, but it's always blowing a little bit. So that's about all there is to the inside unit, and it's pretty easy. That's where I started, so I think it's a good place to start. This is the fuse box, that, <clears throat> and I'm not an electrician, so please don't take what I say with, you know, any sort of bearing of truth here. But I installed a new circuit breaker. This is an old fuse panel, and I, there again, I'm not an electrician, so I thought that all fuse panels would be the same, so... I went and bought a fuse at Home Depot, and it turns out, obviously, that these are old, and they won't work. The new fuse panels won't work in here. So I actually ordered this on, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I ordered this on eBay. Uh, it was rebuilt by somebody, and you have to look there again. Every install is going to be different, so I'm not going to sit here and do a whole video and tell you this is how you do it step by step, because your fuse panel may be different than mine. So... Just as an overview, this is the fuse panel I have. So I used this rebuilt 20 amp fuse. It's a 220 system. So I installed that, wired it, obviously turned off the power to the whole thing so I didn't get electrocuted. And then I ran this conduit, this flexible watertight conduit, and I used these metal. I had plastic, um, which McCombs things here, brackets holding it on the wall, but they, the sun discolored them so badly. I put metal ones now because, and you may be able to tell I painted the, the wall. Got some paint on here, not perfect, but I use these metal brackets and it comes along here, this watertight conduit into this little box. And then what this is, is a, it's a shutoff box. And I don't want to pull it out because I don't want to turn the system off, but you pull this out and it shuts the system off. So if you want to work on the system down there, you can without turning off the, the fuse. And I'd show you, let's see, I can't take that out. There again, this is a 220 system. They have 110 systems. Um, so there again, you're just going to have to do some research and figure out how to wire your system. This is a 220 system. I'll put some links to some of the videos I watched to... Uh, learn how to wire this in 220. Uh, the 110 is, in my opinion, maybe a little bit different, maybe a little harder. This was really simple, just two wires, three wires. So then it comes down here, more conduit, and here is the system that I used. The wiring goes in here. This one is for the controller wiring that goes in the house and this is the system I got it's called Boreal and I don't really know why I chose this one there's several different uh, models and options available I think at the time the reason I got this one is I wanted a specific size and in 220 and it just worked out that this one was um, what was available and it got good ratings so I went with this one and so far, I can't say as I've had any any issues, any problems. So 
down from here are where the lines go in. And those go, I ran those back here. I've got a cover where I covered them up. This is where it goes through the wall. And this is a not a brick, this is a, I guess it is a brick, cement house. And the wall is very thick. I'll show you, I still have part of the core here. That's the inside of the house. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's the inside of the house. That's how thick it was on the inside. And there's a void of about a couple inches and then it's almost just as thick on the outside. So I used a carbide uh, hole saw. You can see where I drilled through first. I drilled a hole all the way through the wall first as a guide and then used the carbide hole saw to cut that core out to get me um, my lines through. And it's connected up here from the unit inside. And then the lines come down here and there's a drain. You can see right here. It doesn't drain that much, but it does occasionally drain. And then that all just goes through and through that cover and into the unit. I do have to clean out the some leaves back here on the coil. And so I'm gonna have to get something out here and try to clean that off. It's been here, I think, about a year now. And, oh, let me show you what I did. You can do all kinds of ways of mounting it. We don't get snow here, so I wasn't worried about snow, but it does, you know, get rain and whatnot. So what I did is I poured some cement on the ground, used these cement blocks and set them in that bed of cement to raise it up off the ground. And then I use these rubber isolator things here. I'm gonna get away from that fan. It's making my voice sound funny. And those rubber isolators make it real quiet. Like, I'll just stop talking. really can't hear it. You have to get real close to hear it. Get rid of all these. So that's that's the basic install in the unit out here. Another thing I need to mention is to install this. It comes pre-charged. You take this off. As a matter of fact, let me take that off and then I'll show you. I had to I had to redo this because I realized you couldn't see this. And people are picky enough on YouTube that they criticize everything you do. So I wanted to make sure to redo this so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the port you have to vacuum uh, the whole line system down to get rid of any air or moisture in the lines. So you hook up a vacuum pump. And I got the manifold set, but I rented the rent a little vacuum pump because I didn't think I'd ever use it again but that's up to you you can buy one or you can rent it so you vacuum this the lines down and you leave it for 10 15 minutes to make sure that it's going to hold a vacuum so you don't have any leaks then you unscrew these right here and then you open slowly open that allen uh, key up and it releases the refrigerant into the system and from there you are uh, ready to go and start the system up, which I did for the first time. And I don't want to take this cover off to show you, but this is where the, the uh, controller wires go. And they have certain colors. And as long as you match the colors in here up to the colors inside, then it, it should work. But they, your instructions will tell you how to do that. So this is it. That's probably the most technical part of this is vacuuming. A lot of people get to this point and then they have a uh, AC tech come and do this to um, preserve the warranty on this. Um, you can try that. I don't know. Some of some techs don't want to do that part. They want to do the whole system. But if you can find somebody to come and do that, that's up to you. I just went ahead and did it myself. So I think this is something you can do if you just want to get to this part and turn it over to somebody and let them vacuum it down and charge the system then uh, that's something that's an option for you or you can go ahead and do the whole thing like I did but I think it's doable and if you're looking for an efficient way um, to add some cooling or to cool off a, a space I think it's a good option and I'll link to this unit that I got and it's very reasonable I think I paid around $800 for it so I'm pretty happy with it and uh, if you have any questions,
go ahead and drop a comment. And until the next time, I'll see you later.